Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be explaining what a listicle is, why I think they're so strong, how they're ranking for me personally, and how I write them so quickly. I will of course be using ChatGPT in this video. I'm going to be using the playground because as you may or may not know, I live in Italy and Italy happens to be one of the only countries in the world that doesn't have access to ChatGPT at the moment. So let's talk about what a listicle actually is. As you probably know, I work for a company called Two Men or iSuit, depending on who you ask. And what I like to do is I like to create listicle articles. Now, what is a listicle article? A listicle article normally has the best or the easiest or the something, something in 2023, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you can very easily find keyword ideas for this. Obviously, we're gonna be using Google Ads Keyword Planner. If you don't know how to set this up, I will leave a video in the description that will show you how to set it up. But what I like to do is I, you can write the best and then clothing, okay? For example, or the best for men or the best for summer men, things like that, okay? Another thing you can do is you can go on Google and you can type in the best clothing for men. And what you can do is you can look at the people also ask section, okay? So what are the best, what are the top 10 clothing? Um, 37 clothing essentials for every man's wardrobe. These are all listicle articles, okay? Let's see what we can come up with using Google Ads Keyword Planner. Let's see if we can find a good keyword to use in this specific video. Obviously, you can just use your own website as well. So you can go on Two Men. You can look at clothing and, you know, we basically have everything we need here already. We've got overcoats, shirts, sweaters, suits, blazers, etc. So you could do best five blazer brands, for example, or you could do the best five blazer materials, etc., etc. Okay. Yes, we have two pop-ups on two men. I, don't ask me why. I need to sort this out at some point. Okay, so the best perfume for men. Uh, we don't really sell perfume, but the best cologne. We do have some cologne, so this could be pretty decent, but I'm probably not going to do this article specifically. Let's click on average monthly searches. Let's stick to the best stuff here. The best gym clothes could be good, but we're not quite there because we don't really sell them. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this actually isn't giving me that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on keywordtool.io and I'm gonna write the best for men and I'm gonna press enter and we're gonna try and get some keywords this way as well. It really depends on how you plan on doing this. The best colognes, how to treat better, what? <laughs> the best man holiday about, the best man's body wash, body spray, work boots. There we go, perfect. So we do actually sell some work boots. So this is perfect. You could also do hiking boots. Let's see how many searches this has and why it wasn't appearing uh, before. So the best men's work boots. This has a lot of searches. This is a good keyword. Steel toe boots. I'm not sure if Timberland has steel toe boots, which is what we're selling. Um, it's really, really hard for me to say. But yeah, keyword tool works very, very well for this. The best men's watch brands, hiking boots. Uh, let's see what else there is here that's useful. Best clippers for men, best deodorant, best the men's the best men's dress shirts. Let's see how many searches a month that has. Did that even work? Yes. 40, 40, it's not really that good. <clears throat> so let's just try searching best dress shirts, for example. And let's see how many searches that has a month. Basically you can see yeah, okay, best dress shirts for men has almost 10,000 searches a month. Let's actually work with this article right here. So the best dress shirts for men. We're gonna go to the playground and we're gonna put this in the prompt. Let's go to my handy prompt maker. Here's one I made earlier. Um, you can watch the video that I will leave in the description if you wanna know how I made like um, this kind of list of URLs. But let's just get the prompt here. And we're gonna put best dress shirts for men inside here. And then we're gonna go to sheets. And we're gonna open my 
internal link sheet thing, which should be this one, I would guess. No, that's not it at all. That's the Fiverr links that I paid $100 for and then got the person that did them to instantly remove them because they weren't very good and they probably affected my website badly. There is a video coming on that, so definitely look out for that. Okay, I made this by using my sitemap. Um, you can watch the video that I released uh, either yesterday or two days ago. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, you can find it on my channel and it will show you how to make this URL list. And basically, what all I'm going to do here is I'm going to say internal, internal links. And what this will do is it will only, hopefully, although it might not work 100%, it will only write about uh, brands that we sell shirts of. Okay. So I'm going to press submit and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so, so far so good. It's writing a listicle of all the products that we sell. It's adding internal links. We don't actually have Sartorio Napoli shirts, but that doesn't matter too much, okay? I'll tell you why. Number one, because we're probably going to get Sartorio Napoli shirts. And number two, because it's still good to have them on here because they do sell shirts and in the future we might have them. That's the same point I just made. Barber Napoli, it's a new one. Grand Sasso does not make shirts, so I would probably just remove this section completely. It's pointless to have a Grand Sasso section on this because we don't actually, they don't actually make shirts as far as I'm aware. However, overall, this is a pretty good listicle. It's very, very quick to make. It's very, very easy to make. And what I like to do as well is I like to embed my products. Now, how do I embed my products? It's called Hura Collection Embedder. This is purely for Shopify. If you're on something else, I really don't know how to help you. If you're on WordPress, for example, you can use short code. I'm sure of it. Try asking ChatGPT to make the short code that you need. However, this particular tool on, on Shopify is amazing. It works incredibly well. I'm really, really happy with it. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's that simple. And all you have to do after this, so let's just finish this article very quickly. You want to go to markdown to html.com, enter the markdown, which turns this into a fully fledged article. You want to grab the raw HTML. I've talked about why many, many times. If you don't know why, then um, it's because if I click on one of these here, this is a relative link, but it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because it takes the markdown and it turns it into a... Um, into an eternal link to markdown.html. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's paste this in. And if I go over striped shirts, for example, it's markdown to html.com slash collection slash Italian designer striped shirts, which is obviously not what we want. What we want is to use the raw HTML here, okay? And then what you can do is you can embed the collections, okay? So you can embed, embed Cesare Attolini shirts and <clears throat> the way that we do this is we use hura collection embedder to create a piece of code which we just copy and paste here it's html code so once we've actually done all that you can directly copy and paste this article into shopify and the layout will look exactly like this except the internal links will actually work and underneath each brand there will also be the embedded products okay that's how I like to create my listicles. The reason I'm making this article, sorry, this video, is because I recently posted about uh, listicles on my, uh, what's it called, community tab, and a lot of people were saying, what is a listicle? So if I go on my channel, and I go on community, I made an article about, sorry, I made a post about listicles, and I had a few comments that said, what are listicles? Listicle, what's that? For example, buddy, is it possible? Explain me, what does listicle mean? So Andres Moreno Ruiz and Bogdan Ilies. This video is for you specifically, um, and this is how I get a majority of the traffic on two men. So let's go on two men, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, let's just turn it into English real quick. Okay, my clicks are really down on two men. I really should not have bought those Fiverr backlinks. Terrible idea. That is the lowest clicks I've had for a long time. 
Oh, I should not have bought those links. That was such a stupid idea. So we'll do new page and we'll type best. So this should have any URLs that contain best. You can see impressions, best Italian cashmere brands, jeans brands, coats brands, designer sneaker brands, white designer sneaker brands. Okay. So basically what I did was I created a collection for white sneaker brands. And then I created an article for white sneaker brands and I used them together to try and get as much traffic as possible for keywords centered around white sneaker brands. That's the basic idea here. And it's super, super easy. It's really easy to make these articles and they actually do rank fairly well. 573,000 total impressions. Of that, 155,000 are listicle articles written using chat GPT. So yeah, and just let's take a little look at some of the keywords, et cetera, that we've actually picked up here. So Italian coat brands, Italian white sneaker brands, Italian jeans brands, Italian cashmere brands, affordable Italian suit brands, Italian jeans, Italian luxury cashmere brands, et cetera, et cetera. All of these are pretty good keywords that you can almost guarantee will make sales at some point in the life of the, the pages, basically. Okay, that's it, guys. I hope this helps. And yeah, have fun making some listicle articles. This works really well for affiliate niche websites as well. As long as you're writing about products that are reasonably well known, ChatGPT and especially ChatGPT4 will make some really good, interesting uh, content. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Peace out.